This weekend, the dynamic duo of Dershiam and Boltman are back with another cinematic treat, this time a cartoon drama titled Nehru, meaning truth in Malayalam. Now, if this is your first time on our channel, please subscribe as we post movie reviews, news about films, and your favorite celebs. Nehru follows the story of Sarah, played by Anaswara Rajan, a blind sculptor who becomes a victim of a traumatic sexual abuse. Seeking justice through the legal system, Sarah navigates the complexity of the courtroom for she must convince that her lack of sight doesn't diminish the credibility of her testimony. Comes in Mohanla who takes the role of a special public prosecutor making his comeback to the courtroom after being suspended from the bar. As we've seen in majority of these courtroom dramas, he does face against a wealthy business group. However, the lawyers are played by Siddiq and Priyamani, a father-daughter duo. Now, we won't give too much away about the plot of the movie as we want the viewers to enjoy the suspense. While we've seen film addressing sexual abuse, the pursuit of justice before, Nero has a unique twist by portraying the victim as a blind woman. Unlike some of Jethu Joseph's previous works, Nero doesn't take much time to build up to the crime. It actually dives into the story right away. A significant portion of the film unfolds in the courtroom, with some scenes being riveting while others may feel a little bit slow. Crafting a courtroom drama can be very challenging as it heavily relies on the dialogue delivery to keep the audience engaged and you don't want to navigate away from that story. Now fortunately, in this movie, the history between Mohalla and Siddiq's character ensure that most scenes keep the viewers on the edge of their seat. What sets Nero apart is that Jitu Joseph's decision to depict the victim as an active fighter alongside the lawyer challenges stereotype that we've seen in other similar films of a passive victim. Anshwari Rajan delivers an excellent performance, particularly in the emotional charge exchange with Mohanla towards the film's end, leaving some viewer with a tear or two. Jitu also excel in the character development, choosing to build the characters gradually throughout the film rather than presenting a character sketch followed by the story at the beginning. Even Sarah's parents contribute to the film with the supportive roles and even a moment of fun amidst the pain that they endure. With several big-ticketed movies sitting in the theaters this weekend, Nero stands out as a must-watch for those seeking a film with minimal action but a stellar performance from the entire cast. If you've seen the film, share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you thought.